Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of three trading systems that we're following along every week for their buy signals and for their current year-to-date results as well. This is just a great way to see, you know, or get a temperature for the market to see what other trading systems out there, how other people are trading, you know, what other signals might be generated, who might be buying, who might be selling. It's a really, really cool thing and it's just, um, it is on the Australian market, but it is using three trading systems that we have looked at at my blog. It's asxmarketwatch.com. Um, and we've got the, the full results over the last 15 years for those systems. Um, but for, let's just jump straight into it. The first one is our gap trading system. Um, I'll just quickly open up our analysis window and just do a quick back test of the gap trading system up till today. So the current results um, updated from last week, we're still moving in the right direction. So it had a bit of a drawdown between April and September, the gap trading system still moving up now. Um, currently we're looking at about 19% um, as a full year profit or about 17 to 18%, um, you know, currently. And you know, that's not bad. Uh, it wins about 40% of the time. Um, and the drawdown for the year is about nine to 10%. So there's our drawdown all the way down to 9%. Um, there's our yearly return, you know, hypothetical, of course. And there's just the, the profit distribution of the trades. Pretty cool. Uh, the next one is the moving average channel. And there's, uh, there's our moving average channel here. Just buys on a breakout on 170 day moving average, 10% um, above, above that. Now, this one is a really much longer term trading system. And um, we'll just quickly pick that up. And now the results for the moving average channel for over the year. Uh, this one hasn't performed as well as the others. That is definitely true. So starting with $50,000 hypothetically, moved up earlier in the year, had a big drawdown for about seven months, pretty much, or eight months even. And it's just starting to move up a little bit now. The drawdown is about 10% um, we're looking at. And the... Uh, the return for the year is about 4.7% at the moment. Not very good. <laughs> so really that one is not amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the second trading system. The last one is my own personal trading system. It's based on Dow's trend theory and GAN's trend theory. Um, really, you know, a pretty, pretty cool uh, trading system that I enjoy trading myself because it's weekly. It only scans once a week. Currently, for the year, the results, we're looking at about 27% per annum, hypothetically, of course, uh, wins 50% of the time, and uh, the drawdown for the year is only about 5%, this one here. Let's check out the, the chart for it. Starting with your $50,000, moving up to about $64,000 by the end of the year um, for that particular trading system. So, you know, it is, a, is it, a, it is a lot nicer. And I personally find it, you know, quite okay to trade as well myself. Um, there's the drawdown there, about 4%. Um, and there's the, the potential yearly return, about 29% currently. That's, that's not bad. There's our profit distribution. Um, let's check out the trades for this week. We can start with the, the Dow trend, downtrend and the GAN trend theory trading system, if you like. Um, all I do is just a quick explore over the last one week. And we've got a few trades here. I'll just pull these up. So we've got AOG or AVO Group. There's... ARB Corporation, Domino's has just uh, just traded above that uh, that level there as well, and it's already in its uptrend, which is nice. Uh, F and P Health, that's made a breakout there. Uh, Magellan Financial Group, Mantra Group, uh, Main Pharmaceutical Group has has also made another uh, entry signal as well. So three three in a row, you know, it's looking pretty good. Um, obviously, it's not going to continue up forever, um, but it's nice to get those entry signals. Uh, Nine Entertainment has just made a new entry um, down the bottom there. Uh, Premium Investments has also made a new entry. Perpetual Limited has also made a new entry there as well. Okay, so that's that's quite good. REA Group has, uh, has made a second entry there. Trade Me has made its first entry in, in quite some time, so that's actually moved up up there on a weekly basis. Um, tr is it Treasury Wine? T -R -T -W -E? So TWE has made another entry. Obviously it's had quite a few in its trend. And lastly, we've got uh, Vocus Group there as well. So that's our last one, making its first entry um, probably for the, for the year. 
So that's pretty cool. Let's look at the gap trading system as well. So we've got just doing that on a daily, uh, daily basis. Do a quick explore for our gap trading system. And okay, nothing. <laughs> oh, let's make sure we've got the last five days. Still nothing. Okay, <laughs> great. So that's cool. You know, I mean, it, it is nice when that happens, to be fair. If we do a scan, okay, so it's got three seg three sell signals this week. As you can see, bought here, sold there. Um, SKI, let's jump into that. Bought up here, sold down here. So yeah, that's a bit of a nasty one, that one. That was a gap down. Um, which is also a sell signal for our gap trading system. And lastly, uh, Sydney airports. Um, so just for a small loss there as well. So it's good to have those stop losses in the market. That's why we have them. That's great. Um, so let's check out the last one, which is the moving average channel, moving average channel. And again, just remember this one is the one that has performed the worst <laughs> so far. So we've got MTS, but it is still good to see those signals and see what other people might be doing in the markets as well. So there we go, we've got a bit of a buy signal for Metcash, and that's also had a gap there. Um, if, if the gap trading system didn't take it, it's because the index filter was off for that one. And the index filter is, uh, is just if the index is moving up or down, I think it's on a shorter term basis for the gap trading system, and it's currently been falling over the last week. So that would explain that. Um, M2 Group, uh, this has just made a bit of a breakout as well. That's quite nice. There we go. So there's its breakout. Premium investments. So that's also made a, a buy signal for this particular trading system. Platinum management as well, moving up. Uh, super retail group. So SUL, moving up into that into that region there. Three more is Trade Me. So again, so that had a, a, a buy signal for this one as well as the Dow and GAN trading system, um, and. TNE. Um, now that was previously in our gap trading system. So we bought that previously and that's still moving up. Obviously it's starting to appear on the other trading systems and TTS, TATS Group or Tatasols. Uh, and so that's only just made an entry in this last week as well. So those are all the, the signals that I'm getting for those three trading systems. And those are the results over the last year as well, over this current year. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. It's, you know, it's a really cool thing to do. Um, I recommend you coding your own trading systems or using this maybe as an example for your own work to, to create something for yourself. Please check out the website. It's asxmarketwatch.com. Heaps of free stuff there on trading systems, coding trading systems, uh, technical analysis as well. It's really, really Really cool. Um, until we meet again, have a great week, happy trending, and bye for now.